Hey everybody, Bucket are back with another video. So the hiatus is over and I am back to digging once again. This week's episode is in two different yards that were a little bit slow and the showstopper, an overgrown gravel parking lot of a 1920s high school. So there was a lot of cool stuff to be found. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So I'm back at the yards today with Jim and right underneath the pine tree, super, super deep. That's a nickel. Hit a perfect 63 on the Deus 2 and we've got us, oh, that is such a beautiful V nickel. 1901, perfect clean wipe. I gotta say that might be one of the prettiest I have ever dug if I can keep a hold of it. Wow, that detail is gorgeous. I'm going to clean this up a little bit for you and I will loop you back in. So here's one more look at that V nickel. I'll get that, the better lighting where you can see it, but just gorgeous detail. There's the front of it again, 1901, but I will certainly take that at over hundred years old. So let's see if we get something else. Just to show how deep this was, but it's nothing special. Some super fancy East Lake looking brass piece, but it's definitely got some H to it. So I thought I was digging an Indian head penny here. No, that turns out to be a buckle. It feels, a little bit light, so probably just plated, but oh, wow, look at the fancy on that. That is super cool. It's got some like enamel work on it, but that is an awesome find. It's definitely got some H to it. So let's see if we get something else. So I just pulled a super deep nickel it's way down in the pocket there and yeah. oh, it's a V nickel. Awesome. That's number two for today though. I'll take that. Looks like a date of 1894 maybe. Oh wow, that is a super clean wipe there too. Look at that, beautiful condition. Let's see if I can get that date to poke through for you. 1894, I believe, but that's a cool find. I'll take another V nickel, so let's see if we get something else. Well, it looks like we've got another piece of old stuff way down deep. That is a Schrader valve stem cover off of a Model T Ford. So it's definitely got some age to it, probably 90, 100 years old. So I'll certainly take that. So let's see if we get something else. So I just went way down deep for what I thought was an Indian type signal and instead pulled up that. It is an accordion reed of some sort, though I cannot see what the note would be. It's a cool find, it's definitely got some age to it. So let's see if we get something else. Well, I had to go down to the gravel for this one. However, that is actually my uh, first wheat penny of today, but I will certainly take it. The date looks to be 1944 or 1941 maybe, but it's a cool find. Let's see if we get something else. Well, the gravel parking lot, a little bit overgrown now, but it's starting to produce. Look at that. I see some shiny right there. That's a Merc. I'm not sure I can see. I think it's a D mint mark on the back of that. Let's see what we have for a date. Oh, wow. I'm not going to uh, work this anymore because that is a 1924D which if you know your mercury dime series this is actually a little bit lower minted so probably should not have rubbed that one i'm going to clean this up a little off camera and i'll loop you back in so here is one more look at that mercury dime 1924 is the date on it denver mint mark so this is actually a little bit lower on the mintage i think in the ballpark of 10 million i'll throw it up next to it but that's a really awesome find i'll take that so let's see if we get something else well would you look at that another little piece of old stuff this one is just a little button of some sort, but it's aluminum. It's got an older look to it though, but that's a pretty cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, this one here is just a Jefferson. There is an S mint mark on the back, but if I flip it over, look at the date on that one, 1940. So a pretty old coin there, still just a Jefferson, but that puts me one Buffalo or shield nickel away from the trifecta for the day. So I'll certainly take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I had to dig the hole back out from that Jefferson nickel. We've got us a spill and not sure what the age on it's going to be. However, look at that. That is a wheat penny in with the 1940 nickel. So probably an older spill. Let's see what we have for a date on this one. I think it's an older one too. I see 1920 something, but it is a little bit crusty. So I'm going to clean this up and actually, maybe I won't need to take this one off camera. Let's give it a pants rub. 
Looks like we've got a date of 1920 with a Denver mint mark. So I will take that. It's definitely an old wheat. So let's see if we get something else. Well, it looks like we've got another penny not far from those other ones. And it is another wheat penny out of the same little gravel parking lot. This one, however, is not in great shape. However, the front looks a little bit better. Looks like a date of 1955. So not a super old one, but I'll take a wheat penny. Let's see if we get something else. Well, just that same line by the sidewalk of this parking lot. That is another wheat penny. This one looks like it's in pretty good condition too. 45 with a Denver mint mark. Does not look like it's been in here all that long, but then again, this soil is pretty sandy and gravelly, but it's a cool find. Let's see if we get something else. So this was insanely deep and it looks like there's a penny down in the hole. Hopefully it is gonna be an old one. Yeah, that's an old one, it's a wheat penny. That was a super deep one too. Let's see what we have for a date. Looks like 1950 something maybe. It's a cool find though. Let's see if we get something else. Well, this one was super shallow. Look at that, that is another wheat penny. So this one, probably a little bit newer once again, but let's see what we have for a date on it. This one appears to be a 1953 with a Denver mint mark, but that's a cool find though. Let's see if we get something else. Hey everybody, Buggy to back with another wrap up from a day of door knocking. So I'll start off with the one find I did not show on camera. That is this Native American hide scraper. I'm unsure of the age and I could not identify it in the field, but it's definitely worked, you can see there. And that also got onto a fancy East Lake bit, as well as a Model T uh, valve stem cover. And then I also got onto an accordion reed, a leather rivet, a button, this super cool silver plate buckle. It's got an art deco look to it. And then onto the coins, I got a bunch of wheat pennies. Dates are 1955, a pair of 1952s. I also got onto a 1945, a 1941. The oldest is a 1920. I also got onto an older Jefferson nickel dated 1940. And onto the better coins, I got a 1901 V nickel as well as an 1894 V nickel. Here's the back of those coins, both in pretty good condition. And then my one little silver to send me home, I got a 1924 Mercury dime. And then there is a Denver mint mark on the back of that one. But that was my hunt, guys. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.